Hello friends and welcome to Bola Metric. Today I am going to explain you about the Ackermann Geometry. If you want to see this video in Hindi, I will release this video on Thursday. I will explain you about the Ackermann Steering. So you can also see it at that time. If you are comfortable in English, then we will continue. So first of all, at the old times and early times, in chariots and in buggies, the turnover steering system was used, in which the front axle can uh, front axle has to be completely tilted so as to turn the chariot. chariot. So in, in that time the front axle is pivoted at a single point and front axle can rotate at that at that pivot point. So when the uh, when in a buggy the uh, horse turns uh, in one direction in a, in a direction the whole front axle will move in that direction and then the rear tires will follow the front front tires. It takes enormous efforts to turn the front complete front axle, so it can't be used. And in a high in high speed vehicles, it can it can't be used because the forces increases as the speed increases, so it can't be used in future. So so as to eliminate these problems, Ackerman observed the, the geometry of vehicles, vehicle and the wheels of the tire of the vehicle. He observed that. Each and every tire have different radius while turning because at because if the vehicle is turning about a center, it must be having a center because the whole vehicle is turning. So the if this is a center, then you can see this uh, this tire is the has the shortest radius and uh, B tire B has the longest radius. I am taking this at this point uh, the center of the vehicle at this point because. The rear wheels are not not going to be turned because the steering system is in front. So the vehicle must be turning from uh, uh, at the at the line intersecting the front wheels uh, the rear wheels of the vehicle. So at this point, you can see the distance of B is the uh, the radius of B is longest and radius of C is smallest. Since the radius is smallest, then circumference traveled by this. Uh, this tire C will be smallest than th this means the distance traveled by th the tire C will be smallest. That is the the distance traveled by tire uh, the distance traveled OB will be longer by, by radius OB will be longer than OD then OA then OC. Therefore, to maintain the uh, velocity of the vehicle constant, the velocity of the tire must be changing. Since velocity required, therefore velocity required by B must be uh, highest because it has to travel longer distance in the same time then the velocity of D, then velocity A, then velocity C so every tire have a different speed so since since every tire have, have a different speed then there comes the need of the differential so the differential it, it starts the need of the differential in this vehicle so that the tire, the slippage of the tire reduces so the whole geometry can be achieved by the uh, mathematical formula given by Ackerman in this geometry, you can see there are, there is a four four bar link mechanism in which this is the axle beam, this is the cross link, this is the steering arm. So there are two steering arms, one axle beam, uh, axle beam and one cross link. So in this uh, from this and this this is the stub axle and these are the wheels. So uh, the steering wheel must must be having an angle alpha that is known as the half of the Ackerman angle now if the angle alpha is achieved by the steering arm then this will have a, a geometry such that the perpendicular geometrical lines drawn from the wheels will intersect at a single point so as to achieve this geometry the mathemat mathematical formula was sin alpha is equal to c minus d by 2r c is the Axle beam D, uh, D is the distance between the one end of the steering arm and the other other end of the uh, another steering arm or the center of the stub axle. So this is the D, and 2R is the diameter of the turning uh, turning diameter of the vehicle. So 2 into R is, is equal to 2 into turning radius of the vehicle. So this this can give you the half the Ackermann angle. And uh, you can make uh, this four bar four bar link mechanism and can attain this geometry. I hope this is uh, sufficient for the Ackerman steering. If you still have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. If you have any suggestion, you, you can tell me in the comment section. 
if you like this video please share it with your friends if you didn't subscribe to my channel please go and subscribe to my channel as soon as possible so as to see these videos in future also thanks a lot guys for watching my video keep supporting keep sharing guys thanks a lot